Steven Spielberg making an adaptation of one of the more beloved tales from Roald Dahl? Sounds interesting. is where our story begins. So the BFG is directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Ruby Barnhill as well as Mark Rylance. And just quickly off the top of my head, I felt like the BFG was fine it wasn't anything super special but at the same time it didn't leave me super disappointed it was just it was fine and what i mean by that is that when you go in to see a steven spielberg movie you expect something magical to happen you expect something incredible and in the bfg you don't really get that the the closest thing to that is mark rylance's performance as the bfg which i'll get more into in a moment but you kind of expect something like Daniel Day-Lewis's performance in Lincoln or like the amazing special effects that were so groundbreaking in Jaws or Jurassic Park and you don't really get that. You, you, you get some aspects of Spielberg but for the most part it's a pretty uh, basic movie for him and I was kind of shocked by that. Now getting into what I liked about the BFG is the world that they set up and how they didn't feel the need to over explain everything. I felt like things were just there. They had all these weird vegetables and weird words and things were just kind of in existence and they didn't really need to give you this crazy backstory. You were just kind of able to grasp the simple aspects of each character and put it together because these archetypes you've seen a million times before and the movie understands that you know what's going on. It doesn't have to like explain everything and because it doesn't explain everything it means that the movie fails less because the movie doesn't have to stick to this clear format that it's set up at the beginning. It can kind of do whatever it wants which I really liked. And now going off of that, the movie really starts immediately. It starts very quickly, which I really liked. But the problem was is we get into our journey so quickly that there's a lot of downtime. In between the first act and the third act, the entire middle of the movie is almost completely unnecessary. I really don't remember what happens because it was just so unnecessary to the overall plot of the movie that I just didn't feel like it needed to be there and it was really kind of bothersome because it's really drags and it's really boring and it's not entertaining to watch whatsoever, which I'm really sad to say. Now, something else that's great about this movie is how it really embraces the British culture. It doesn't try to Americanize the movie so much, which I really liked, and how it stays true to what the book is. It really feels like a kid's novel, and the quirky nature of it is really upheld in the movie, which I really enjoyed. And as far as technical aspects of the movie, it's beautiful to look at. It's absolutely breathtaking, the cinematography. And Mark Rylance's motion capture performance is almost like something I've never seen before. The, the work with his eyes are just magical and his facial expressions are so accurate and so detailed. It's really, really amazing to see. Now, getting into some of the things I really didn't like about the movie, I felt like Ruby Barnhill was a really good performer, especially for a child of her age, but I felt like there were parts where she was a little ch too cheesy for the movie, and the movie is kind of going for a slightly cheesy, quirky tone, but she kind of overdid it a little bit, which I kind of feel bad saying, but it is kind of true. I also didn't really like the other giants. I felt like maybe you could have done more with them or maybe less with them. I don't know. I just felt like they, they just kind of bothered me. I can't really place my finger on what bothered me about them, but they were a little troublesome from time to time. Now, in the end, the BFG was a satisfactory attempt for Steven Spielberg to create this world of the big friendly giant but I felt like the movie fell flat with the pacing and some of the other characters didn't quite fit the mold that they were going for. In the end, I think the BFG is a really fun time for the whole family, and I'm gonna give the BFG a 2.5 out of four. 
Thanks guys, that's the review for the BFG. I hope you liked it. I hope you drop me a subscribe, drop me a like, whatever it is you do here on YouTube, and I'll uh, see you next week.